Okay, we are live again, and happy Monday. We are here on the good ship Avocet, and uh, this time is live from the sailboat. Uh, so a lot to share with you this this week. Um, we've been uh, covered some miles this week uh, sailing, and first I wanted to find out how you're doing with uh, with the weather. Uh, it's been pretty crazy. We've had some rain underway. Uh, we are trying to dodge the remnants of the next storm. This is the third hurricane remnants that we've been uh, dealing with as far as where to anchor, where to, to find a mooring, and you know, how to schedule. So it's, it's amazing that uh, in two months, uh, uh, three hurricanes passing through. So, um, but uh, they've just fizzled into small storms by the time they've gotten to us, and we uh, expect the same will happen, uh, will hit this, this region about Thursday. And so we'll just get some high winds. So we'll try to find a nice safe anchorage uh, for Thursday. So uh, I thought I would start with the summer morning rain, <laughs> a little tribute to the rain that we've had underway, and uh, then I'll <laughs> I'll continue sharing some of uh, of this week's uh, excitement. Um, all right, so uh, a little, we'll start off here with a little summer morning rain. Oh, we are actually, we've just got three bars of reception here. We are very low tech today, so let me know if the sound is coming through okay. Uh, if not, we have a backup plan. I have a, a pre-recorded bit we can run, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to do this all live with you. So uh, let me know how it's sounding. Um, the little rain bit starts off gently, and uh, then it builds a little. So this is summer morning rain.
Oh yeah, a little bit of rain that reminds me of the rain that we hit underway. And there was a long section that we did. We, uh, we made some miles. We had a, a good wind going, but along with that good wind, uh, there were a lot of waves. There were, you know, six and eight foot waves, and then some of the big ones that would break over the, the side, and we became sopping wet, uh, even with rain gear on, uh, just just from the spray. And uh, so two mornings we left at uh, 2 a.m. And Brian was quite the valiant sailor. Thank you, Brian, um, because. Uh, this was the very first time in my life that I got seasick. I mean, really seasick. <laughs> so I just couldn't do anything for the whole time. So Brian was at the tiller, just manning it the entire time. And uh, so he did the, the whole trip. How many hours was that, Brian, you were at the tiller? Thousands. <laughs> thousands. <laughs> he thinks it felt like thousands, I know. But it was like 15 or something I like that. Know. It was 15 a long hours. Day. It was a uh, long day, yeah. So it was so nice to finally get the, the calm waves again. So any of you who've been sick, I now really uh, identify with you. Anyone who's not feeling well today, I'm identifying with you. <laughs> so uh, yes, so nice to be on calm waters now. Well, let's let's say some hellos before I, I play another, another tune for you. Uh, uh, Larry, oh yeah, thanks for, for popping in again, and uh, Starry Skies, and as well as uh, Florence, and, uh, and Gail, yay, so, so thanks. I'm not seeing everyone's uh, text, oh yeah, here we are, they're, they're coming through. Uh, thanks Mike and Dave, uh, John Wise is here again, and uh, uh, Ahoy Brian and Muriel from Southern Illinois, There's, so thanks to our friend John, and, and Joyce, Fred's back again, yay. And, uh, and David, too. So, um, let's see. Oh, I've got some, some more hellos. Uh, Bob, too, and, and Bunny's back, and Joyce as, as well. So, uh, uh, let's see. We have, uh, let's see. Uh, oops, hang on. Uh, we have uh, great uh, for the drive home. But, uh, don't be watching when you're driving home, so just, just listen, okay? So... <laughs> All right. Um, okay, well, let's uh, get rolling on the, the next item. And I want to uh, also know how you've been doing uh, this week. And uh, just just let me know. Um, and uh, pop in some hellos there. And if you're listening to this late, uh, I'll respond uh, via text. All right, so I'll, I'll text back to some of you who I didn't get to on screen. So this is my... Uh, carbon fiber harp guitar. This is the Emerald. And somebody had asked me last time about the strings. Uh, I'm using GHS strings on all of these. Um, the bright bronze. I'm using a combination of lights and extra lights because I'm uh, used to playing nylon strings. So steel strings I uh, want to be a little more gentle on my fingers on that. I'm using that. And then this is also a steel string guitar, but I have done the un Thinkable as I've strung them with nylon strings. So, and this is a McPherson, uh, also carbon fiber. And I'm really glad they were carbon fiber with all the water that's seeped in on deck during that passage. Yeah. And you know when the water and the, and the tides are going uh, out pretty pretty quickly you've got to uh, do a little ferry angle you know come out come out this way as you're as you're going across so that reminded me of uh, this tune ferry boat crossing
Okay, how is the sound coming through? Uh, let's see. I'll see if we got any uh, comments on that. Uh, no, no problems with the sound. So, uh, uh, great. All right. So far, so so far, so good. Uh, any? Uh, oh, here's here's a bunch more comments here. Uh, okay. Joyce asks if uh, we're coming back to Long Island. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes. Um, well, not not almost uh, back yet. It's um, maybe a, f a few more days. It depends on where we spend uh, Thursday. How many days it'll be to get back to Long Island? So we went all the way up to uh, Brian. What was the furthest east we got in Maine? Uh, was it Mount Desert? Mount Desert Island. Island. Yes, yeah. out past Swan's Island. Yep. Um, and so, not all the way to Roque. We had uh, aimed for Roque, but the winds were not uh, in our favor to go out that way. So, uh, we are on our return voyage right now, but trying to hit some kind of interesting places on the on the way. And uh, if if you subscribe to the Acoustic Sailing Channel, then you'll get uh, get updated uh, gradually. We're um, takes us a little while to to catch up um, between my first mate's log that's also behind a few, a few days. And uh, I just found out something actually from Brian here. I was, you know, I, I went ahead and subscribed to Acoustic Sailing and you know, thanks to, to you who have. And um, I was wondering why I didn't get the notice of the new uh, video coming up. You have to hit the little bell. I mean, <laughs> so this is, um, I'm so uh, such a neophyte here, so this is like a brand new thing for me that, yeah, you have to hit the little bell on it to be not notified when there's a, a new video coming in. And I know you're all saying, yeah, duh, of course, but uh, brand <laughs> new information for me. Okay, uh, some, some more hellos here. Um, Joyce says the sound is good. All right. So we will continue uh, live then. So, not having to go to that. I also wanted to show you this sunset behind us. Take a look at that. Okay, just, just starting to go down. So, getting some pretty views. And there's uh, Bull Island back there. Oh, Bull Island over here. Yep. And a lovely hiking trail through there. So, you'll see that later if you're... Uh, subscribing and hitting the little bell of the acoustic sailing channel. Well, I, uh, I'll, I'll get tuned up here because I wanted to do a Travis tune or two for you. Travis. This is in honor of our good friend uh, Tom Bresch. And So if, if you don't know, Tom can use a little love right now. He's been uh, valiantly uh, battling cancer, doing well on that, on his, on his cancer treatments. That's what I hear the last I heard. And uh, so, uh, you know, instead of sending tips here, I would uh, ask you to go support him. You can actually do that by picking up his uh, teaching video. He's got a master class on True Fire called The Brush Man. Uh, Chronicles. So uh, if you want to go ahead and pick that up, uh, it's uh, fun stuff. He's just a, a great character and it'll also support him during this time. And his father, Merle Travis, uh, wrote this tune, Bluebell.
fun stuff. Boy, he also wrote uh, you know, 16 Tons and um, I Am a Pilgrim, that one. So some really great, great tunes. Uh, just what a, what a treasure. And uh, Brush plays just like that, you know, plays just like his dad. Uh, so, uh, hey, uh, greetings also, Cynthia, North Carolina. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and Tom's here. Hey. Uh, uh, yep, Tom uh, also knows Bresh, and so, yep, uh, our prayers are with Bresh, too. So, we think he'll come through. So, thank you all for, for your support and all the ways you can do that. And I also wanted to say thanks for the, the a lot of the people we've met on this trip. Uh, Brian, hasn't it been the, the people that we've met that... Uh, it's always the people. Yeah, it's, it's been incredible. Uh, Joseph, who we uh, talked to yesterday. Uh, we, yeah, we had a great visit with him. David as well. Um, Michael on that Michael. Bill Garden schooner. Oh yeah, Michael on the, on the schooner. And Eric, uh, if, that little... Uh, photo that was the kind of the logo for this live stream that was taken by Eric, uh, a new friend was we the, met. Uh, father-daughter we had um, drinks with yeah. on that uh, Hinkley at Allen Island. Allen Island, yeah. That's, and uh, Eric's uh, wife bought uh, the uh, the cookbook. The, David Eisenberg was just here. Yep. Um, Ted on the second boat is supposed to be coming over later. Yeah, and also I, I uh, Pamela just uh, chimed in that uh, several people uh, bought the cookbook, the Acoustic Chef, uh, online. So I was saying, want to say thank you for that. And, uh, really appreciate that. That helps us out, and and uh, hopefully you'll have some fun with that uh, or, or make make it as a as a gift. Uh, so. And we cooked three recipes from that. Yes, book, we uh, cooked with three recipes along the route. Uh huh. Which will be in on the channel. Yep. So, and uh, if you, yeah, if you watch the channel, you can actually taste the recipes on on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a scratch right. and taste. You can actually <laughs> the scratch and taste feature. The new scratch and t t taste feature uh, for the buckwheat crepes uh, will be uh, coming up shortly. Blaine Noir uh, crepes. Yes, Blaine Noir crepes. Oh. Uh, we had a request here for the Baker's Dozen, and uh, oh, I also want to say uh, hi to my LinkedIn friends. This is the first time I'm also streaming to LinkedIn, so if you're uh, friends there, so uh, you know, chime in, see if see if you like putting it on that format. Uh, so, yeah, be happy to continue doing that if you do. So, a request for Baker's Dozen, and that is with uh, the Super Trebles. These were made by Luke Bruner, as you probably know. And invented by Muriel. Yeah. I had bugged several builders to make make one for me, and Bust finally the, Luke came through and just... Just the name Muriel Tribbles. <sighs> yep. And they are really wonderful, really well built. Okay, so now I have extra trebles. I'll tip this down a little bit. You can see this. All right. Okay, Baker's Dozen, if you're ready to dance, um, this is in 13-8 time, so just your typical kind of 13-8 uh, Greek line dance will work perfectly with this. And uh, this is the one, of course, that goes with the baklava. And uh, goes something like this.
<laughs> oh, Thank uh, you. I hope you had a nice dance there uh, with that, and uh, I'd love to certainly love to see that. Uh, <laughs> and. I uh, was just checking to see if there's any other re uh, requests. Oh, uh, you like my backdrop. Oh, thank you. Um, and, uh, oh, uh, so Timberline said they sold a bunch of the Muriel Trebles. I had no idea. Hey, I didn't yeah. know they were selling those. Yeah, I didn't know you were selling them. We, I know we have them on our, our website. These are the, what they're calling the Muriel Trebles. And uh, so, that's that's great. And, uh, oh, Starry Sky. Uh Wait, was, was that a request or is that the person? Can we show them the background? Uh, oh yeah. Just okay. Show them the back, backdrop a little bit more. Okay, Brian's going to show you around. Okay. Yes, our neighbors. Here. So this is uh, quite a busy neighborhood here. Uh, we uh, generally have a, uh, have been uh, at. Anchorages, you know, next to a, an island, mostly by ourselves. Yeah. So this is uh, just how I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I like it both ways. I like yeah, the, well, the yeah, company I mean, we've had. Yeah. yeah, had some great, met some great people here along the ways, and also had some nice, quiet, uh, sometimes very foggy uh, anchorages. Yes, so just all alone with, it. and uh, we've seen actually a lot of. We've seen a lot of animals uh, lately. We went swimming right here with the jellyfish <laughs> today. No, not with the jellyfish. Well, uh, the, we saw a lot of jellyfish. You know, the, the big, uh, what do they call the lion's mane <laughs> jellyfish. Uh, yeah. They were about that big. Yeah, great big <laughs> jellyfish. Uh, uh, the pink ones and the white ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. But uh, right around the boat, we didn't see any, so we just stayed, just stayed right in this area. <laughs> and some harbor seals came up. Um, we got some video of those, too. Oh, yeah. osprey. We saw mink. Osprey. We saw minky whale. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, great blue herons. Uh, they're beautiful. I, I love those. Yeah. Of course, you know that I wrote a tune about, about one on my uh, cello album. And I uh, really love those. So... Um, Okay, uh, a lobster, yes, yes, and we do feel very fortunate uh, to have, to be able to to be here at this time, uh, and to have had a lobster dinner. And we didn't have as much as we thought we would. It was it was hard to flag down the the lobstermen. Um, uh, I think that everyone is. Uh, well, there was a certain lobster inflation this year. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely lobster inflation. They were getting a lot more for, for the lobsters, and there were a lot fewer in the catch. A lot fewer in the catch, so. Uh, but, great. Uh, okay, well, I just wanted to uh, check and see if there was another request. Uh, see, with Starry Night? Well, we'll I'll do a, a I know you saw some ducks in the airplane song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there. <laughs> And there was, yeah, there was some ducks right around here, too. If that inspires a song, I don't know. <laughs> song I'll have to come up with a duck song, right? Uh -huh. I came up with a Bla Great Blue Heron song. and um, uh, or That's sort of a duck song. You remember that? Yeah, the, the million dollar question, name this tune. <laughs> Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Rubber ducky, joy of joys. When I squeeze you, you make noise. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Every day when I make my way to the tubby, I find a little fella who's cute and yellow and chubby. Rubber dubby dubby, rubber dubby, you're so fine, and I'm lucky that you're mine. Rubber dubby, I'm awfully fond of. Rubber dubby, I'd like a whole pond of. Rubber dubby, I'm awfully fond of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> All right, don't tell anyone I, I played that for you. <laughs> uh, okay, it's just between us, right? Uh, that's, I'm surprised that all came back, you know? Uh, Sesame Street, I used to, uh, my little brother and sister used to watch that. That oh, was, God, I love that show. That was before my time. Well, we didn't have a TV when I was growing up. That's, I learned to play guitar instead. So, well, and invent things and you, Oof, know, you take notes stuff on that. like that. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how kids get anything done with the internet these days, you know? So, uh, I... I think it's great to peel yourself away from that. Oh yeah, a couple people named that tune. <laughs> I see it coming in. <laughs> oh no, Robert says he just recorded it. No, shh, don't tell, don't tell. All right, okay. So, well, I guess I should I should sign off. We were actually thinking about at some point um, videotaping, uh, you know, carrying the computer and my phone that I'm using for the hotspot here, carrying it out to the dinghy, rowing it out to the island and taking you out there, you know, for a little walk around. Walk around. Uh, so maybe we'll do that on a, on a live stream coming up, uh, either on the Acoustic Sailing uh, YouTube channel, if, uh, if you hit the bell, you'll, you'll get that, or, uh, or on my uh, YouTube channel, one, one or the other. So. We're, we're considering that, so uh, let me know if that's something you'd like to see. All right, and if not, we'll see you next Monday. And uh, I've got some live shows coming up for those in the Chicago area and Florida. Uh, Robert says, great idea. Okay, we got one says, ding, one yes on that. <laughs> that's all it takes. Right. <laughs> okay, and so so thank you all. Good night, and we'll see you next Monday. Wait, 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 this. wait. Brian wants to show you something. Give him a, one more him? view of the. Oh, are you showing him the the duck? Did the duck? No, no, no. Or? The sailboats with the anchor lights on. Oh, yeah. It's nice when you get a whole puddle of oh. sailboats all with their anchor lights yes. on. Yeah, beautiful, isn't that? Okay. All right. See you next Monday. <laughs>